friends in this video we are going to observe management of a hard cataract with iFace at this moment we can see that the pupil is quite nicely dilated and the cataract is a brown hard cataract maybe in grade 4 nuclear sclerosis the main incision has been made this is a sideboard on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and in this case I have made only one sideboard and now capsulorexis is to be done this is iterator forceps make a puncture with the iterator itself hold the capsule go anticlockwise and do a continuous carbilinear capsulorexis. Remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated people to get a fairly round one. And now, hydro dissection is done. BSS is passed under the anterior capsular rim. Fluid wave goes to the opposite equator. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated and now some more visco 2% SPMC and then it is the time to introduce the handpiece into the anterior chamber this is Faro's from Oatly Faro's with steep spip mode here the tip goes into the anterior chamber bevel down at this time, I am at a very high vacuum of 450 millimeter of mercury and I turn the handpiece. The power I am using is 80 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and I am trying to do direct job. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and see what happens. The pupil has become small, iris tends to prolapse through the side port, but I have been able to manage a nice crack rotate the nuclear mass 180 degree and divide the nucleus completely into two halves and this air bubble is disturbing me so I try to remove the air bubble and at one time it comes off now this hemineucleus is being subdivided into two halves and I have been able to do this and now I rotate the nuclear mass again get onto the other half and this hemineucleus is also divided into two parts and now at this time I want to come out and see the iris tends to prolapse to the main wound also push the nucleus and then I remove the chopper to prevent iris injury and now my plan is visco -midriasis. yes with viscoelastic substance people has dilated and now I want to manage these nuclear pieces with minimal use of chopper so that prolapse of iris doesn't occur through the side port. Yes, if I don't use the chopper, the iris will not prolapse through the side port and iris stroma will be preserved. Otherwise, there will be chafing of iris stroma. And I use chopper at this moment just to, yes, divide this and see what happens the iris is dancing at this moment it has become small but it is round and sometimes it is oblong so at this moment I decided to come out again to do some more viscometriosis and still I continued for some time and I'm trying to emulsify this as much as possible 
and now then I, at this moment I saw that the posterior capsule appears to come forward so I came out want to push the nucleus posterior capsule behind and so this is the uh, viscoelastic substance 2% SPMC injected some visco behind the lens matter the nuclear piece and at this time I'm in speed mode in speed mode we can control the vacuum by foot pedal so when if the vacuum is set at 450 millimeter of mercury we can use only 10 millimeter of mercury vacuum even when the tip is occluded so this acts like a venture emission this speed mode this software is appears to be very good and now since there is only one side port I'm going to use 23G Simco cannula for a removal of cortical matter yes uh, this Simco is attached to a 10 cc glass syringe and I can create high vacuum and the next moment very low or zero vacuum with my left hand and the response time is much less than the response time of bimanual so this is a safe instrument for cortical cleanup Yes, cortex has been nicely cleaned. Yes, this is the last portion of the cortex. Some s little fibers are still sticking to the posterior capsule. I'm going to use the irrigating probe only to do hydrobish. Yes, it is done. And there's a cortex and has to be removed this uh, not cortex this is actually a piece a small piece of uh, nucleus or epinucleus and it comes out after injecting visco I depress the posterior leaf of the main wound and it comes out and now this is the intraocular lens this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and it is going into the capsular bag yes the lens has gone into the capsular bag and now I'm going to spend some time for the removal of the viscoelastic substance that has been used 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose First, I'm going to use the 23G Simco. This is double irrigation. Means I have taken some BSS in the syringe and I am flushing it out as well as normal irrigation is happening. So, by double irrigation, we can forcefully irrigate out a lot of viscoelastic substance from behind the capsule, sorry, behind the intraocular lens that is from the capsular bag from the anterior chamber from the posterior chamber and about 70% to 80% viscoelastic substance comes out by this maneuver and now I'm going to use the irrigating probe of bimanual IA friend this is a totally unedited surgery so you have to be patient for about 11 minutes this is irrigation and aspiration together at this time the irrigating probe is lifting the anterior leaf and leakage of fluid is very minimal anti chamber it remains very much formed this is a bit of moxie 
and now the sideboard is closed by corneal stromal hydration corneal stroma on other side of this step wound is hydrated by bss and it closes and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber as well as the capsula bag and the antechamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked and then the case is concluded thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills the tip i want to convey in this video is that when there is ifis after chopping the nucleus into fragments do single handed feco use chopper as less time as possible so that there is no iris prolapse through the side put and iris doesn't get there is iris doesn't get shaped stromal shaping doesn't occur